If you're here watching this video right now, you're waiting a long time for Elon Musk's affordable Model 2 to finally drop. While the media seems to ignore it, or simply has no idea, we're the only ones who know, your wait is about to end, completely, in just a few months. Over the past week, some pretty wild signs popping up have shown that the Model 2's production could have already started, earlier than expected, which means deliveries might hit as early as late 2025 or the beginning of 2026. So do you want to know how Giga Texas is gearing up to build the Model 2 this quarter? Why did Musk drop those cheaper Model 3 and Model Y versions first? And how the heck is he planning to power 2 million of these cars when the US grid is already struggling to keep up? In this video, we're breaking down all of that. So hit that subscribe button and join our 13,711 members who already know how Tesla is serving our drive and our lives. Why Model 3? Why Standard is a strategic stepping stone for the 2026 low-cost Model 2? On October 8th, 2025, Tesla officially announced two new versions of its most popular cars at much lower prices to expand its reach in the affordable EV market. On Tesla's website right now, you can find the new Model 3 Standard, starting at $36,990, and the Model Y Standard SUV starting at $39,990. Tesla managed to cut prices by about 12% compared to the regular premium versions, using more cost-efficient materials and removing a few luxury features, like the rear 8-inch display and heated seats, while still keeping over 300 miles of range thanks to the LFP battery pack. Reactions to the launch from the analyst and investor community have been quite mixed. Fund manager Ross Gerber criticized this as a desperate move to salvage sales after a strong third-quarter recovery in California thanks to soaring Model Y demand, but which could be hit by higher insurance rates due to FSD-related safety issues. Conversely, many experts from Electrek see this as a smart strategy to expand market share, especially when global sales are threatened by cheaper Chinese cars, and could help Tesla prepare to reach its target of 2 million low-cost cars per year by 2026. They emphasize that the standard versions are aimed at the mass market, creating a test for the upcoming lower-cost Model 2, rather than simply a stopgap solution. At first glance, the launch of the Model 3 and Model Y standard versions might seem like a small update to boost short-term sales. But Elon Musk's real intention is bigger. He's using these cars as live experiments, testing new technologies, collecting user data, and fine-tuning the supply chain before rolling them out in the next truly low-cost vehicle. Think about it. If Tesla only wanted to hold on to market share temporarily, they could cut prices on current models without creating new versions. But designing standard variants for their two best-selling models, the Model 3 and Model Y, suggests they are building the foundation for an entirely new, cheaper model. Tesla has done this before. Back in late 2016, they launched budget-friendly versions of the Model S, which eventually led to the release of the Model 3 in 2017. And that move grew sales by 300%. The same playbook seems to be unfolding now, paving the way for the Model 2. Tesla will create variants, that is, upgraded, cheaper, or tweaked versions of the current model, to test the mass market without taking huge risks. These variants help reduce production costs, collect real-world data, like user feedback, driving data, and scale up the factory. Eventually, they lead to something big, a new, cheaper car aimed at a wider market, leading to explosive sales growth. For now, we can be sure that this is the Model 2, which is promised to cost just under $15,000. Tesla is testing it out on California roads in camouflage, Many people believe that it is the newly launched Model 3, but the dimensions measured outside the black tarpaulin are estimated to be 15 to 20% shorter than the Model 3, and the lines of the hatchback design are completely unprecedented in the Tesla lineup. We have already analyzed this new and more efficient design of the Model 2 in some previous videos on the channel. If you are curious and want to know more, feel free to check them out. 
And if you are already convinced and ready to own a real cheap car from Elon Musk is on the way, please land under 2026 Model 2 in the comments below. How Tesla paused production after the end of Q3 at Giga Texas to restructure and prepare for Model 2. Right after wrapping up Q3 2025 with an impressive 497,000 vehicle deliveries, Tesla made a move that caught everyone's attention. It paused all production at Giga Texas for two days, on October 3rd and 4th. According to drone footage posted by Joe Tegmeyer, a well-known Giga Texas watcher on X, the outbound lot was completely empty after all Q3 deliveries were done. That means Tesla cleared out inventory after a record quarter, getting ready for something big, a major factory retooling. On-site images revealed a series of retooling activities taking place simultaneously. Workers installed vertical steel for the electrical substation, expanded underground piping systems and rebar cages, all to increase power sources and operating capacity. This was clearly not routine maintenance. Tesla is investing heavily in retooling right now, an extension to support larger production runs in the near future. Back in 2023, Giga Shanghai paused production to retool for Model 3 Highland. And now Giga Texas looks to be doing the same thing. Only this time it's clearly pointing to Model 2. When Giga Texas resumed production on October 6th, Tesla was letting everyone know that they're working on the Cybertruck here, but quietly. The west side of the General Assembly has been spotted installing new workstations, new robots, and even gantry cranes. Those are exactly the kind of tools used for unboxed manufacturing, which are modular as opposed to traditional monocoques. This process is described by Tesla as being able to cut production costs by 50% for every car they roll out. Then over at Cortex-2, where the roof is now about 75% complete, Tesla is reportedly setting up space for Optimus Gen 2 robots that will power its next-level automation for the new production line. With a plan to have 1,000 robots working by the end of 2025, Giga Texas is clearly aiming to reach the highest level of automation ever achieved, reducing human labor by up to 80% and bringing build time per vehicle down to just 15 seconds. With all these changes, if not for the Model 2, why invest so much right after a record Q3? The answer is too clear. Everything points to retooling at Giga Texas being the code word for this low-cost car preparation, to be priced below $25,000, and to be $2 million in 2026. How Tesla is ensuring that 2 million future Model 2 drivers won't have to worry about power grid shortages. Many people are worried that millions of upcoming low-cost Tesla Model 2s could overload the U.S. power grid and supercharger network. But the truth is, America's grid is getting stronger and smarter, growing right alongside Tesla's own efforts. Together, they're building a clean, self-sustaining energy system that ensures future Model 2 owners can drive and charge worry-free. According to the EIA's short-term energy outlook from October 2025, Total U.S. electricity supplied is expected to reach about 4,191 billion kilowatt hours in 2025 and rise to around 4,600 billion kilowatt hours by 2026. What's more impressive is that over 90% of new power capacity added this year came from solar and wind, reducing fossil fuel dependence and strengthening the grid. Just California and Texas alone have added over 30,800 megawatts of clean energy and storage this year, which is enough to power roughly 25 million homes. The average Tesla consumes about 3,500 to 4,000 kilowatt hours per year. That means 2 million Model 2s, if all of them charged regularly, would need about 7 to 8 billion kilowatt hours per year. That's less than 0.2% of the expected nation's total 4,600 billion kilowatt hours energy supply in 2026. In other words, even with a massive Model 2 rollout, EV charging demand will still be tiny compared to how fast the grid is expanding. 
and that's without taking into account Tesla's two-pronged effort to ensure that the millions of Model 2 drivers who will soon be driving them don't run into any energy problems. First, they're expanding the supercharger network aggressively. In the third quarter of 2025 alone, Tesla added 395 new stations and 3,262 new charging stalls worldwide, not including the ones being upgraded. Most of these are V4 superchargers, compatible with all NACS standard EVS. The Hollywood Tesla Diner in Los Angeles, now the world's largest charging site with 80 stalls, operates 24-7 and is fully ready for the Model 2 wave. Next is the integration of energy storage and virtual power plants. Tesla is deploying a series of new generation Megapacks, launched in September 2025, combined with virtual power plants. And with the bi-directional charging feature, V2G slash V2H, Model 2 can participate in this storage network, turning the problem, many charging vehicles, into a solution by charging the grid when there is excess power and supplying power back to the home or system when needed. That means that when millions of Model 2s are plugged in, they join Tesla's smart energy ecosystem, help balance loads, prevent blackouts, and even make money by selling electricity back, ensuring no straining the national grid. Does this sound promising? So far, the total VPP capacity in the U.S. has reached 37.5 gigawatts by 2025, the equivalent of dozens of large power plants. And much of it is thanks to EVs and Powerwall batteries. And with more than 2 million Model 2s hit the road in the coming months, the grid will become even stronger. The countdown to the Model 2 has already begun. And what comes next could redefine what affordable means in the EV world. If you want to stay ahead of every Tesla move, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We've got more deep dives, leaks, and behind-the-scenes stories coming your way, and trust me, the best is yet to come.